Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, so this is a big princess bedtime storybook. Uh, all the princess stories are in here, so um, we're just going to pick one and read it. Which one do you want me to read you? Um, There's Aurora, Belle, Aladdin, and Jasmine, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, mm -hmm. Snow White. Who's the Cinderella? Who's the Cinderella? Cinderella? Let's see. Who's Cinderella? We're Cinderella. She's in here. Oh, there she is. Cinderella. So she chose Cinderella the Lost Mice. Okay. You want to flip the page? Yeah. Flip. Okay. So one winter night, the prince led Cinderella out to the balcony. I have a surprise for you, he said. He pointed to a pink box on the bench. Cinderella lifted a beautiful coat out of the box. Oh, it's simply lovely, she exclaimed. Thank you. The next morning, Cinderella showed her coat to Susie the mouse. Isn't the prince kind to me, she said. Nice, a nice? Susie nodded and nuzzled the warm coat. Cinderella didn't notice that Susie was shivering. Although the room was warm, the mouse had just come from the attic, which was very cold. It's very cold. Show the pictures. Mommy, that's Cinderella. That's Cinderella. That is Cinderella and the prince, yep. Yeah. The prince bought Cinderella present. What's yes. that? A coat. A coat? Yeah, he got her a coat. Uh -huh. Just then, Gus and Jack scampered up onto Cinderella's dressing table. They were cold too. Cinderella, Cinderella, they called. But she didn't hear them as she rushed off to meet the prince. Soon, several more mice came in. They all sat in front of the fire until their teeth stopped sh chattering. They hoped Cinderella would let them stay in the warm room. The new housekeeper arrived to clean the room. When she saw the mice, she showed them away. Mice don't belong in the castle. Now get out. The housekeeper was the reason that the mice had stayed in the cold attic the day before. They were frightened of her. <laughs> Wait, turn the page for me, please. See what else is gonna happen with all these mice. Yeah. The mice scrambled back to the attic, not knowing where else to go. Gus sighed. They needed Cinderella's help. Suddenly, wham! The gardener opened the attic door. Before the mice knew what was happening, they were in cages. Now take them far away so they never return, the housekeeper said. <gasps> They're in cages now. They took them. Yeah. And they put them in the cage. Yes, they took them. Let's see what else will happen now. Yeah. Meanwhile, Cinderella and the prince were strolling down the castle grounds. Let's go to the stables, Cinderella said suddenly. We can say hello to the horses and maybe take a ride, the prince asked hopefully. Lovely idea, Cinderella replied. Soon Cinderella and the prince were riding through the court countryside near the castle. They saw the gardener in one of the fields. Hello, shouted the prince, but the gardener didn't seem to hear. That was odd, the prince remarked. <laughs> the 
The gardener had been letting the mice go, but he was worried that it would be too cold for them outside. Now don't mention this to the housekeeper, he told his friends, but I'm going to bring these poor mice to the stables. He took the mice to their new home and even fed them. That was nice, right? He's feeding the mice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else will happen now. The mice nestled together in the barn, but as night approached, it got colder. Luckily, the horses were very friendly. They told the mice to snuggle in their manes to keep warm. That's nice, Gus said as he drifted off to sleep. Meanwhile, Cinderella was very concerned. She hadn't been able to find the mice anywhere. She's looking for all the mice. She's worried. Cinderella was still searching for the mice when she ran into the prince. Why, hello, the prince said cheerfully. Are you looking for the same person I am? Why, no, Cinderella said. I'm looking for the mice. Ah, oh, said the prince. I'm looking for our new housekeeper. Apparently, she threw the mice out of the castle today. She thought they were dirty. Oh, no, Cinderella cried. They're not dirty. They will freeze outside. Oh, no. Don't worry, my dear. The mice have found a new friend. The prince told Cinderella that the gardener had done. Together, Cinderella and the prince went to the stables. They thanked the gardener, then awakened the mice. Cinderella, Cinderella, the mice shouted happily. She was re reunited with the mice. Cinderella's happy now. Are you happy? A few nights later, there was a grand ball with the gardener as the guest of honor. The housekeeper had been assigned to the kitchen. She would not be bothering the mice again. Meanwhile, the mice celebrated with a banquet of their own. They were glad to be in the warm ballroom with their friend Cinderella. The end. That's the end of the story. What do you think? You liked it? Yeah, I want another one. Yes, you always want another book. But it's okay. Reading is the best. Yeah. Yes. So, um, there you guys have a story. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say bye. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching.